these things leaking all out of the transmission. Um, I think it's the seal, the main input seal, but there is a pipe near it, but it's kind of coming down rather than getting sprayed up in the fan. The actual, there's a little fan in there, I'll show you in a minute. There's a little fan in there. So we're gonna change the seal. I was hoping to be able to sneak it in, but it looks like we've got to drop the axle, give me a little bit more elbow room. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to today. Right, taking this off. There's a bolt there. Another one in there. Should be able to just undo there and then slip this thing out of the way and then it'll give me a bit more, a bit more wiggle room. Pulled the wheel off, so hopefully we can get a better look at what we're dealing with now. All that mess. And this went from 0 to 60 pretty quick. It was bone dry to looking like that. Quick update. Had a bit of a leak down here as well. Which will account for like the drips and the mess around this side. But then there's like a dry area. And then we get to the higher bit. So I've got a couple of leaks on this. But hopefully that's just nipping them bolts up. All them nuts, the unions. I sorted that out. So now I think the first thing is get that belt off. I'm going to try and take that fan off, but I, I don't think it's going to happen without dropping this axle down a little bit. It's either that will lift the engine, and I think dropping the axle might be the easier option. Detensioning this belt couldn't be easier on this Steger machine. You literally just put the handbrake on, and it slackens this right off. So that's a bit of a result. Um, I should better slide this out of the way now, hopefully. And... Then have a go, there we go, have a go at taking that fan off. I'm not taking this off completely because my plan is just to drop this axle down. So I'm just doing it to give me a bit of slack, a bit of room. Be able to get them pulleys off, obviously. There's a pulley there and get that fan out of the way. So I've got a, a jack under the axle. A bit of wood so I don't crush anything because this is obviously aluminium. Um, we're going to drop this axle. I think this is going to be the easiest way of doing this. And it looks like it's just four bolts either side and then a couple of pipes that I might have to shift out of the way. So pull this side down and see what happens. Yeah. See that's dropped. What you can do, if you have got long bolts, I could take these ones out, slip some long ones in, and it gives it something to hang on because I don't want this whole thing coming down because there's cables and rods and all sorts I don't want to get involved in taking off. Let's get around the other side. Right, I've got this axle down a little bit. Obviously there was a fifth bolt that I didn't see, a little stabiliser bracket just in that corner there. I don't know if you can see it, just down there. Um, just in a 30 mil nut on there, mate. So what I'm going to do now the circlip and what looks like a nut but I don't think that is a nut I think it's a circlip in like a kind of a nutty looking sleeve or something I'm gonna get that fan out of the way because they're easy to break I've just done one on my roller where someone obviously dropped something in it so uh, I'll get that out of the way and then we can be a bit more vigorous with it shall we say Let's see if we can't get this clip off right, twist this fan get some uh, circlip pliers in there and this is where they ping off like that this is where someone clever would be doing this two-handed I might have to cut back to this be a next success in a minute success this is gonna end horribly if I try and video this. Bear with me. I'd like to say I did it one-handed, but I didn't. Um, but we have saved it, so that's good. And that's not a nut. You can see some splines on it. So let me get this out of here. Without dropping it, too late. All right. Let's find it. Clip, 
get that from underneath. It's only plastic, so I oh, know that's lovely. Make sure there's nothing missing on the other side. Let's see what's going to off. There we go. All I'm going to do now is try and get that out of there. Smashing it. So, put that well out of the way and put it on top of the wheel. So that'll be fine there. Uh, and it looks like there's a washer there. It's seen better days. Look at the state of that. Oh, that's a bit of a bum. I guarantee I won't have one of them. Try and get this pulley up. So let me get something a little bit more specialist. All right, so fans off. That washer's corroded and melted away to nothing. But you can see all that rust around there. So that pulley is struggling to come off. And I don't want to get in there and get too heavy-handed with it because obviously we've got some aluminium fins there, and then pulleys are easy to bend. So <coughs> I'm gonna give it a shot of this stuff. I've used this stuff for years. Forget WD-40. This is what you need. Just give it a little squirt and then sit back and let it do its thing. This has got me out of all sorts of pickles, manifold, nuts, particularly. We all know what they're like, exhaust manifold nuts, but this stuff sorts them right out. So yeah, we'll give this a little squirt and see how we get on. I don't want to give too much because you don't need an awful lot, but the other thing is we're hunting an oil leak, so I don't want to smother it in this and then get there and not know for definite that that was the problem. But we'll let that sit for a bit. Probably gotta stick the kettle on. That makes sense. Let's see how we got on. Probably gonna have to prise this off a little bit, I would have thought. It's moving. Another little trick you can do. It just very gently. I'm not trying to smash this home just trying to vibrate the oh, there we go vibrate the rust well she's moving Let's see if we can't pop this off I'll get under there sometimes you need two ends so you need to sort of attack it from both sides again I don't want to put too much force on this it's definitely loose see it rattling there's probably some crud in there that we just got to try and force it past I'm gonna get two two uh, levers either side of that and nice gentle even force and see what happens I'm just gonna try and wiggle these there's a rod here that I really don't want to get involved in breaking off but struggle with this for a bit and I'll let you know how I got on. Well this hasn't been easy. <laughs> I'm not, not going to try and pretend that oh, this is amazing. This was an absolute pain in the arse. The uh, yeah this was an absolute pain. So it's just coming off now but what I ended up resorting to was what I didn't want to do was get violent with it. So I've got that jammed under there and give it a little I think there's so much rust on this pulley, I'm hoping the pulley's not goosed, but we'll find out in a second. Literally, it's coming off bit by bit, whereas it should just slide off when it goes back on. Hopefully I'll clean it up and clean that shaft off, but this seems to be working. And it's just not what I wanted to be do how I wanted to be doing it, but yeah, this something going on it in there I've got a feeling it's going to be horribly mangled when I get this off I'm convinced of that in fact let's get that under there and I think there's going to be some teeth missing or something because this this isn't right oh, it shouldn't be like that the shaft looks alright yeah Pulley's poggered. Uh, 
Uh, you might might not be able to see that, but um, it isn't looking good. Yeah, it seals weeping, but it's not. It's not chucking it out. It's in state of that shaft. There's a lot of rust around there, so let's get it out anyway. Let's get this clip off now. It's gonna go ping. First thing I'm going to do is offer up this seal, the new one, just to see if it looks right. It looks about right. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to drag it over that shaft before I clean it because there's all sorts of horribles in there, and I don't want to drag that down into the seal because it'll act like grinding paste, and then we'll be no better off than when we started. We're already into a pulley now, so let's not make things worse. Uh, I'm going to try and get this pick in here. Oh, there's the oil. Do you know, I've got a horrible feeling as soon as I get that out, oil's going to start gushing out like that. That's another problem I've got to deal with now. Brilliant. To recap, um, there's a reservoir that's higher than that seal, and obviously there's no kind of valves or anything like that in it to stop the oil from coming through. So I've got two choices: drop this axle, drain all the fluid, or go for it. It's going to make a mess. I'm going to pop that seal out, get it out, and get the new one in quick, and hopefully not destroy any either in the process. Um, yeah, this isn't how you do it. This isn't the how-to video this is a how I did video um, if the camera ends up getting its ass kicked I'll just have to show you how it turned out because basically once I start this I'm gonna pop that out I'm gonna whip this out get the new one in I've got a socket lined up somewhere where did I put that to jam it on with uh, well I suppose less talking about it Here's my new seal. The new seal is oiled. I've got my picks ready. I put a bit of tape around there. Try and protect this old seal. But this is gonna get messy really quickly, mate. I'm kind of in it now. Nope. You bastard. So what have we learnt from this video? Can you get the seal out? Yes you can without taking the axle out. Should you? Probably not. Right. This goes against everything in me because I'd like to get in there and give it a clean out, but there's not too much oil coming out. I think we may have Well, at least the seal's going to be plenty oiled, isn't it? Getting in now. Very gently. You don't want to pull the lip round. And hopefully this... There we go. Right. Now, the next problem is going to be getting something in there to just knock this in. I'm going to try it like that but what I might have to do is lever it in this is fiddly and 
kind of just levering against the engine. I'd rather press this in and tap it in, but um, I had to pull it off again and put a bit more tape further down because there's there's a shoulder on that shaft and uh, most other things they put a, a chamfer on it but on this no it's just a sharp shoulder so you have to put a, a bit of insulating tape over it <laughs> just to get it to go down I'm also employing a slightly smaller socket you want this thing in level there will be a special tool for it obviously I don't have it but as long as that's down below that recess should be business Give it another little press and chalk this one up to experience I think there was ever a case of don't involve yourself this one was it but you've got to try these things you can't always win and i took this or i marked this one up as a fail i think it's not gone anywhere near us like i thought it would but the seal is in so we'll take that little victory uh, and i need to get a pulley and that little mangled washer Let's get that tape out, make sure I'll get all that tape out so I don't leave any of that behind because that could be bad. Let's get that out now. Very gently, hopefully it's nice and slippery. There we go. Bit of insulating tape and oil, what a lovely combination. I was in the trade years before I got a set of picks like this. Oh, why I waited, I don't know. Such a brilliant little tool. Right, I've got to go and find a pulley now and that little, little tiny washer that disintegrated. Yeah, that's going to be fun because without that pulley, this thing's junk. I don't know if they make them anymore. This one was... Uh, Nearly an epic fail, but managed to kind of save it at the last minute. I found a pulley, because we saw what happened to the last one. But more importantly, I managed to get hold of one of these tiny little washers. I did not think I was going to be able to manage to find one of them, but... Uh, I think it's round about there. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on this shaft because I had the bloke who was here before done this we wouldn't have needed a new pulley I'm guessing I'm not smothering it in this just a light kind of application for want of a better word um, it's always good practice to put a bit of grease on stuff. Now if this is right, it's the right size but I haven't stuck this on yet so... Oh look at that. Now this is what should have happened last time. Should have just lifted that off and cracked on rather than have to fight it. It's, that thing is just like a bent bit of tin. But I'm guessing that just gives it a little bit of tension. Making sure it's the right way, right way around. Like that. See that's our nut shape that's on that washer. Just check we've got a yep yeah, a little one. I remember that being there when we pulled this off so hopefully now there ain't gonna be such a big gap between we have a big washer and a little nut thing. Ah, alright. 
So a little washer doing its thing. So that's good. It's doing exactly what it should do. What I do is push this down. Excuse the shadows. Push that up. So I'm holding that down. I'm going to put a finger over the circlip so when it does ping off, it can't go anywhere. Uh, that's the noise we're looking for. It's not quite right in there, see it? Right. That, I think, is good to go. I'll give it a little check when I've got a bit better light in there so I can see what I'm doing, but basically that's it. That's that part built back together again. I'm going to put the axle back up, put the box back in. Get the belt back on, don't forget that bit. Um, and go from there. Right, all the bolts are in. Should be able to just nip them up now and pull this axle home. I'm not going to go mad, I'm just going to nip them. She's running. More importantly, it's not leaking. I've got to run it for a little bit longer. It's a bit gassy in there. Man, I feel amazing. Being on this highlight every single day. Man, it's like a highlight. This is what I made. Feel excited because I know I'm going in places. Everything I want. Is coming to me, getting DMs asking how much for a feature, telling me if it's right.